this yeah. is an awesome Mother's Day. We have this. Yes. It's snap off the top, easy to clean. You have to, and, and as a reminder, because yeah. people are going to start putting out the hummingbird feeders, if they don't have them out already, yeah. keep the nectar clean. Yes. Uh, there was something recently uh, was getting some, some buzz on the Internet about bad nectar killing the hummingbirds and all. And it's just, it's just uh, good sense to keep your feeder clean. Keep the nectar fresh. Don't put something out there and, and leave it three months or three weeks or, and then expect it to, one, attract the birds, or two, uh, you might be harming some birds with it. So it's pretty easy to clean. I, I'll give you an, another helpful hint that I use. I, I know you say, oh, uh, the little feeder holds eight ounces. I love it. I put it down. I got three or four of them. And then it's, you mix up the nectar eight ounces at a time, put it in there. No. I mix it up a couple of gallons at a time. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, uh, I, I do too. I'll, this, when I'm not using much of it, uh, I'll mix it one gallon, and just warm water, uh, four cups of sugar to the gallon, and uh, I think it's four cups of sugar to the gallon, and uh, it's four to one ratio. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's all the, I know. I can't do the math on and that. And then but. stir it and let it dissolve. Put it in the fridge. Yeah. And, and I use an old milk jug that's cleaned out. And yeah. then I'm ready to go. I, it's just a matter of rinse the feeder off, make mm -hmm. sure it's, it's mold free, pour a little nectar in it, put it back, put it back in your fridge. And you, hang it you've outside. taught me, like, you don't even have to boil it. No, you, you do not do have that. to boil it. Yeah. No. There's a lot about the boiling of it, but basically the water doesn't have problems in it. There's no reason to boil the water. Yeah. The problems come from outside. The problems come from the sugar you may be putting in there. So boiling it and then putting it in it, don't worry about yeah. that. Uh, Keep it simple. They're, they're very adept at processing things like this because these birds eat uh, from flower nectar, maybe with even dead insects in it. They can handle some of this. So. Yeah. But keep your feeders clean for them. And yeah. it's, it's so easy, too. You just don't want the mold and all growing in there. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.